Hello, my name is Julia Mulligan. I'm your Police and Crime Commissioner. Earlier this year, the government brought in a new duty to collaborate between the fire, police and ambulance services. And I'm consulting on how we can bring the oversight of the fire and the police closer together. Why is this necessary? Why is it a good idea? I believe there are some real opportunities to improve community safety here in North Yorkshire. Firstly, we can make financial savings and they can go back into firefighters and police officers on our streets and in our communities. But let's be clear, police officers will be police officers and firefighters, firefighters. We can merge and combine our back office functions, which people tell me is common sense, and we can create a new approach to community safety, particularly focusing on how we better protect vulnerable people, the elderly and people living in isolated conditions. So what could we do? What's possible here in North Yorkshire? I'd like to talk about a common sense approach to sharing our buildings. There are about 100 between the police and fire services across North Yorkshire, including 38 fire stations and 34 local police stations, plus of course two headquarters, one for each organisation. So how are we doing so far? This is Beedale. It's a shared building between the police and the fire service. You can see the door for the police there and the door for the fire service just there. There are about 20 locations, however, across the whole of North Yorkshire, which we might be sharing. And indeed, we've got some plans to share at least seven more, including in Ripon, where we may be sharing with the ambulance service as well. However, with a joined up single strategy for all of our buildings, we could do much more. And of course this is important because we could save money, money that we could reinvest in police officers, firefighters, community safety officers and PCSOs. And let's remember of course that it's firefighters and police officers that save lives and not their buildings. And it's not just local fire and police stations that could be shared. Let's focus our attention on headquarters. I'm here in North Allerton and behind me is the North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Services headquarters. Just down the road, also in North Allerton, is the headquarters for North Yorkshire Police. Their move to Alverton Court will save about £10 million. And if North Yorkshire Fire and Rescue Service moved in with the police, they could save a further £250,000 a year. Were the police service and the fire service to share this building, Alverton Court, it also means that we could take another look at this entire site. Because right next door, on the boundary, is the fire service. You can see the fire engines just poking their heads over the hedges over there. This is a great example of how a common sense approach to our buildings makes sense for the public. These are your assets and we need to use them better. Of course, it's not just about sharing a building or moving in together or saving money. By bringing the chief officers together, we can have a joined up community safety strategy for North Yorkshire, something which I think is really exciting. We would also be able to make oversight of the two services much easier and speed up the pace and scale of change. And change is important because all our public services are facing pressures at the moment and we need to do everything we can to work together, pool our sovereignty, uh, all for the benefit of the public. Sharing buildings are a good starting point, but sharing back office support services would help even more. One of the questions the public ask me most often is why we can't do more to share our back office and support functions. Well, we're here in Thirsk at our new shared joint transport and logistics hub. It's where the fire service and the police services, vehicle servicing teams, are now located. This example is cited as best practice in North Yorkshire and it is indeed a welcome development. But if you scratch the surface and dig a little bit deeper, you'll see that more could be done. The red areas are where the fire service works, the blue areas are for the police and the green are the common areas. So what we have actually in reality are two separate services sharing a garage. That is welcome, but we should be more ambitious. We could share our estates teams, our IT, our procurement, our transport and logistics and much more. I believe we should be doing everything we possibly can to save money, work together so that we can reinvest 
in the front line in those valuable police officers, PCSOs, community safety officers and firefighters. So far, I've talked mostly about increasing efficiency, but one of the most exciting opportunities is enhancing the actual service to the public by strengthening community safety and improving prevention. Here in Scarborough and elsewhere in North Yorkshire, we've got some really good examples of working together. Safe and well checks in people's homes, protecting vulnerable people. Programmes that try to support young people on the cusp of criminality and mental health nurses in the force control room. All of these things are excellent in their own right, but I believe they do not represent a joined up strategy to prevent and reduce demand across the whole of North Yorkshire. And we have an opportunity now to look at how we can work better together, pool our sovereignty, pool our funding and provide a much better service to the people of North Yorkshire. So please go to telljulia.com and have your say.